Hey everyone, welcome to another paint pouring video. In this video, I'm doing kind of like a mass production of 12 by 12 paintings. Uh, the reason I did this was because I participated in an art market uh, at a local uh, theater festival last weekend. Um, so it was like kind of like a little pop-up shop. First time I had ever done anything like that and I was really green and you know, it was just one of those experiences where I was going in to learn a lot and figure out how these things worked. Um, and I didn't have smaller paintings to sell there. I, I mean, I knew that I needed to kind of go in with a lower price point with the, uh, some paintings. Um, and I mainly only do large paintings. So anyways, I had to do a whole bunch of 12 by 12s. Last week was crazy for me because obviously I left everything to the last minute and then I had to do a whole bunch of paintings all at once. So I just want to talk about the green spray paint for a minute just because I'm so irritated about it. Um, I've bought like 20 cans of this Amsterdam spray paint so far, but this green that I bought um, came out chunky and splattery and I was having a really hard time with it. Yes, I shook it like crazy. Um, and it was just unusable almost. Uh, so I wrote a strongly worded email to Amsterdam and they have yet to respond. And I am still really irritated about it. It's grinding my gears. Anyways, so I was doing a four season theme with uh, some of these canvases. I had already done a green and yellow one earlier. Uh, I have yet to edit the video. Uh, um, that will be posted soon enough. Um, however, this is the fall portion of the Four Seasons. Uh, and I think that the background actually ended up being rather fall-like. So despite the horrible, horrible green spray paint. So I was happy with that. I was happy with this ribbon that I managed to produce. I think it kind of looks like it's dripping down a shelf or something. Um, yeah, so I was really happy with that. I, you know, my little studio space is pretty small, so my big challenge here was really finding sp uh, spots to put these little paintings um, to dry while I was doing other ones because, like, I was just doing so many of them and I didn't want to, them to get splattered. Anyways, it was a big thing. Last week was challenging for me. Um, this one is the summer portion of the Four Seasons. Um, I've gotten into this thing where I've been putting white in between all the layers and is creating this like really um, interesting effect. I think that it makes it more like Candyland like almost. I don't even know, but it definitely makes the ribbons seem a lot lighter. Um, and I, I think that I like the effect, but I, I obviously can't do so much white on everything because it really changes the overall look of the ribbons. Uh, this one is the winter version of the winter version, the winter section of the four seasons. And I, again, the, this ribbon, you know, I have nothing to complain about. I think that, you know, I feel like it might lack a little bit of personality. I don't know. But I mean, it might just be because the next painting that I do after this one, I am absolutely obsessed with it. Um, it was a complete mistake. And the result was just like, it turned into like this 3D kind of thing. Um, have you ever seen those videos where they dip candles in like the different colors and then they get all these like cool layers and then they do like slices? Um, that's what this reminds me of. And the 3D-ness of it, I didn't anticipate, but I, you know, I have a, a picture of it on my wallpaper at work. Um, I can't stop staring at it. I really, really want to do another one of these, but I mean, this is such a fluke. I don't know if I could ever make it again. I know that I can't ever sell this painting because I don't know, I'm, I'm just obsessed with it. Anyways, 
I'm interested to know uh, what you think of all these paintings and I'm going to post another video really soon to try and catch up on all the paintings that I did last week. Hope you enjoyed watching the video. If you did, remember to hit like and make sure you've subscribed. Thanks for watching. Bye.